Good evening, Brazos Valley. Thank you for watching KX News at 6. I'm Elizabeth Tharp. We're now in the 52nd hour of the search for missing Grimes County toddler Christopher Ramirez. We have team coverage again tonight. We'll hear from KX reporter Jordan Adams in just a few minutes. KX reporter William Johnson has been with this story since the first reports of Christopher's disappearance. We start out tonight with William. Yeah, and we're now in day three in the search for Christopher and Ramirez's stepfather, Jose Galagos. Uh, he hasn't made really any comments about this case at this time. We actually spoke with a sheriff earlier today who says that Galagos is a registered sex offender. Now, Galagos went on the registry in 2019, according to records from the Texas Department of Public Safety, uh, for uh, sexually assaulting a 14 year old girl. But the Grimes County Sheriff's Office, though, says that Galagos was not in the area at the time of Christopher's disappearance, and since that time, dozens of law enforcement agencies and groups have responded to this area and are expanding their search all in an effort to find and locate Christopher. Now, actually, the sheriff spoke with us just before 5 o'clock mentioning that there was an identical case found at the border of Christopher's description, you know, same age, same name, but unfortunately it wasn't him and he and other law enforcement agencies, like we said, are just continuing in their search, hoping to find him. If you have any information, as always, though, you're encouraged to call the Grimes County Sheriff's Office at 936-873-2151. I'm reporting in Grimes County, William Johnson, KAGS News. William, thank you. Again, it's been 52 hours since Christopher was last seen. We'll now take time to recap what we know so far. A three-year-old boy named Christopher was found at the Mexico-U.S. border, but Grimes County Sheriff's Office confirmed it is not Christopher Ramirez. Sheriff Sowell says pictures sent from law enforcement at the border to Grimes County were given to Christopher's family, and they confirmed the boy found at the border is not Ramirez. A witness told law enforcement Christopher was last seen chasing a dog into a nearby wooded area. His mother, Araceli Nunez, says she took her eyes off of him for just a moment before he vanished. Grimes County Sheriff Don Sowell says Christopher's stepfather is a registered sex offender and one of the two living in the area. However, Sheriff Sowell says the stepfather was not near the scene at the time of Christopher's disappearance. Sheriff Sowell confirmed that Deputy Smith says the family has been fully cooperative and Sheriff Sowell says they will continue to search no matter how much time it takes. He confirmed at this time there is no reason to believe Christopher was abducted, but again, will continue to track down any and all leads that come in. Again, KX has been at the scene following this case since Wednesday evening when we got the first report of Christopher Ramirez's disappearance. KX reporter Jordan Adams joins us live now from the scene with more updates. Jordan. And I'm here live with Grimes County Sheriff Sal. Thank you, Sheriff, for speaking with me today. Just got a few questions about sure. the ongoing situation here in Plantersville and what's next. So obviously we're heading into two days almost uh, looking for Christian, mm -hmm. Christopher, I should say. Mm -hmm. what are the, what's the plans heading into this weekend and maybe heading into next week? Well, as I said earlier, we, early press conference, we have not received any tips of any interest outside the area. We're on day three now and we're confining our searches to the same area. We're going over and over and over the previous searches, see if anybody missed anything. We expanded the search just a little bit around the perimeter. We might continue that. Uh, we're gonna stay here till we find him and, uh, and the results of uh, the news media's help has mm -hmm. been helpful, but Again, we have y'all haven't received any calls to the particular media. Out People have not called the sheriff's office or 911 or Crime Stoppers. We've had a few uh, uh, Facebook posts and other social media posts, but nothing has given us any direct intelligence of uh, law enforcement matter to be followed up on. And everything we do have has been cleared. Has been cleared. So, Sheriff, we've talked to you the last couple of days multiple yeah, times yeah. now. We've seen you multiple times coming mm -hmm. out. You haven't been able to bring us too much good news yet, but no. you continue to stay optimistic. So oh, yeah, how yeah. do you keep that great mindset of yours well, we're doing in a, tough times? We're looking at a recovery of a rescue, not a recovery of a sad story. Two differences there. Mm -hmm. We're not going to, we're, we're looking for Christopher and hope to return him. We had a, uh, it's kind of exciting earlier, we had a 
Oh, we had, I thought I'd come to y'all some good news. I, I, so ironically, same name, three years old, and our, our border colleagues down there, the Border Patrol, the Mexican authorities on their side, and our side, and the sheriff in Brewster County, and uh, they're, they're, they, we got them stopped. Turns out somebody saw the information at the motel where they stopped to use the restroom. Christian, Christopher, three years old, everything fit, we were so excited. I was hoping to come to y'all, but we got him, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. Wasn't meant to be. So we're continuing. We're continuing. Go ahead. Last question, mm -hmm. sir. Um, well, um, with what more can we do with helicopters, FBI? <coughs> We're going to continue what we've been doing the last two days. I have not called off the resources. The resources are here. The people's optimism is up. Their spirits are up. The searchers, yeah, they're spending a lot of time out in the woods, uh, in arid areas, in the hot, you know, we're, we're doing everything we can humanly possible. Perfect. We're continuing that. We're, we're not going to quit. This is Jordan Adams live for KAGS News with Grimes County Sheriff. So right. back to you. All right. Y'all have a good one. Jordan, thank you so much.